Well, according to a report released by NASA, in as little as 35 years, greenhouse gases can impact Arizona through a mega drought. A mega drought can last up to several decades, and farmers are concerned. Farming is important to Jana Anderson. The water she uses to maintain her crops at Pinnacle Farms is crucial for her business. A lot of that will really affect us. The food prices will go up, people will be out of business, uh, we'll have idle farmland collecting dust. Anderson isn't waiting for a drought to happen. She's conserving water now. We put sprinkler heads out on a lot of our farm here. Um, and we're also very conscious we don't overwater. Every tree receives monitored watering from individually assigned sprinklers. Anderson says sprinklers are more efficient than flood irrigation. These crops are thriving now, but their growth depends on water and the climate. We're now seeing the effects of climate change, which are including increasing temperatures and decreasing precipitation in our region. And these are causing the possibility for these very long extended droughts to occur into the future. The mega drought would put a lot of farmers at risk of losing their business altogether because they wouldn't be able to supply the fruits and vegetables people want. There's a few things that are drought tolerant, but people's need is what we feed. We, we supply what people want. We don't just supply what we can grow. But Deputy Secretary of Agriculture Krista Hardin believes if a drought were to occur in our region, our food supplies wouldn't be greatly impacted. Well, we're lucky that we're a big country and we're not dependent on one growing region, one specific state for our food. Until then, Anderson will continue operating Pinnacle Farms in the way she has been for the past year, by conserving water. As we see in this time lapse of Phoenix earlier today, Anderson may have been able to skip watering her crops due to the rain we experienced this morning. To see the full time lapse of this morning's weather, you can go to CronkiteNewsOnline.com.